Renaissance Robotics is a hard-working, fun-loving second-year team. Our chain-driven harvester is unique and effective. At me, one, no one had anything like it. In our program, we adjust the speed on our harvester so the blocks fall into the basket every time. Our linear slide lifts our harvester to score blocks, aligns the flag raiser, and allows us to hang. We designed our game strategy so that every meet we could score points in Autonomous, Teleop, and the end game to align with our alliance partner's strengths. Our strategy is flexible so we can help our alliance partner. We can either hang or raise the flag. Our harvester and flag raiser concepts can be found in industry. We looked online and found new mentors to help us understand the mechanisms. We used Creo and SolidWorks to model our drivetrain and harvester. MathCAD was used for calculations for our autonomous programs. We used an IR sensor, gyro sensor, and color sensor to score the blocks and get on the ramp in autonomous. A robot is built like a fast-moving battering ram. It can easily push others who get in our way and still move quickly to get to the blocks, but is still light enough to hang in 10 seconds. <laughs> At the beginning of every meeting, our hardware and software teams get together to discuss how we can help each other improve the robot's performance. After every major task is completed, we evaluate it and tweak it, while keeping an eye on the meet schedule. For example, after we completed our autonomous program, we found a way to quickly make it more reliable with additional sensors. Just like in the Renaissance time period, we call our experts knights, our mid-level squires, and our trainees pages. Each of us is a knight in some areas, and a page in another. Our knights train our squires, we then train our pages. This helps us divide up the tasks evenly. Renaissance robotics is hard to miss. We're loud and always cheering. We have bright red and blue tabards, crowns, banners, tablecloths, a sponsor shield, stickers, and cowbells to help other teams recognize. With the Train the Trainer event, we exposed over 65 engineers and scientists to Junior FLL, FLL, and FDC. That event helped form three new FLL teams and two new FDC teams. We had over 10 face-to-face -face meetings with potential sponsors. Most of them said yes, but all of them learned something great about FIRST. In addition to FTC, we mentored three FLL teams and one junior FLL team. We collaborated with F FTC rookie team Super 7 on programming and strategy for the season. We are the first team in our league to become a showcase team. We set our funding goal at $4,000 and we raised $4,100. We invested the 200 articles from the online yard sale and coupon books, which we have sold for over $1,000. We set up an Excel spreadsheet or engineer notebook to track our income and expenses so we can adjust quickly. For instance, instead of buying t-shirts, we decided to make our own tablet. Thanks for watching!